So, hello there everyone and welcome, it is Niran here, and today it is time for yet another FIFA 17 career mode experiment. Today, as you'll have seen from the thumbnail and the title, we're going to be seeing what happens when Irish teams play in England. And I know what you're thinking, it's already relatively obvious they're not going to do well. But this experiment isn't just a one season thing, we're going to see whether Irish teams can actually fight at all through any of the English league system. So we're going to sim through four seasons and we'll see just how badly they do. Whether any remain in the Premier League or, you know, how they do specifically, whether they win any games and at the end of it, as to whether an Irish team is at the bottom of the entire league system. So here's how the Premier League table is looking before the first season. We've got Arsenal, Chelsea, Everton, Liverpool, City United, Southampton Spurs. They're all the English teams that have remained. The rest of them have been filtered down into the Champions then some championship teams have gone down to League One, some of the League One teams have gone down to League Two, and then the remaining League Two sides just got put into Ireland. So that's that's how I've organised things. When we look at this, we've got Bohemian FC, Bray Wanderers, Cork City, Derry City, Dundalk, Finn Harps, Galway United, or Galway United, sorry, Longford Town, Shamrock Rovers, Sligo Rovers, St. Pat's, and Wexford FC or Wexford Youths down at the bottom here. So we're going to see how they do, we're going to see what Irish team comes out on top and we're going to see whether any of them can actually fend for themselves in the Premier League and maybe even beat any of the Premier League teams later on or beat some of the Championship teams. So let's skip to the end of Season number 1. So the end of Season 1 has arrived and there's no real surprise that there is quite a split between the English and Irish teams. Let's not forget the English teams involved in this experiment in Season 1 are the best English teams in the Premier League, not just the best you know, it, it, not the entire Premier League, obviously the likes of United and Chelsea and Liverpool and Arsenal, etc. Cork City came out on top out of the Irish teams, finishing in ninth place on 50 points out of Dundalk, uh, just beating them on goal difference. We've got Shamrock Rovers, Sligo Rovers, Bohemians, St. Pats, Bray Wanderers, Derry City and Finn Harps staying up, but relegated are Galway United, Longford Town and Wexford Youths. It's no real surprise to see three Irish teams go down, having conceded 80 goals apiece across the season. We're now going to sim to the end of Season 2 and see how A, the remaining Irish teams do in the Premier League and B, how the relegated teams do in the Championship and we'll see whether they go straight down there as well. So we're now at the end of Season number 2, let's take a little look at the Premier League table. Chelsea have won it from Arsenal, United and Southampton actually finishing in the top 4. Big underachievements from Manchester City and Spurs in terms of the normal table. Once again, none of the Irish teams have been able to beat any of the English teams but Shamrock Rovers were only 8 points away from Norwich, who finished in 11th, one of the teams that was promoted from the Championship last year. Uh, Shamrock Rovers coming out on top then in terms of the Irish sides from Cork City, St. Pat's and the rest, and you can see that Bray Wanderers, Finn Harps and Derry City were relegated. All three of those getting quite low point tallies as you would expect, I suppose. Right, so now we're going to look at the Championship. Now obviously there's going to be teams in here that you wouldn't expect to see because they're in real life Premier League sides. Obviously the likes of Leicester, West Brom, uh, etc. and Bournemouth who finished down in 18th. That's because of the way that I had to do the system to get Irish teams into the English system. But if we scroll all the way down, you can see that none of the Irish teams beat any of the Championship teams again, and all three of the teams that were relegated from the Premier League last season were relegated straight away again this time as well. Galway United and Wexford Juice conceding over 100 goals across the season and were 13 points away from Nottingham Forest. So we're going to have to see now whether those guys are going to get relegated from League One instantly as well as we head on now to the end of season number three. It's the penultimate season then of the experiment. Chelsea have won the league once again from Liverpool and much like all the other seasons that we've seen so far, none of the Irish teams have been able to beat any of the English teams in the Premier League. But this time, the gap was only four points between Bohemian FC and Watford, which is a bit of an improvement. But again, still only Irish teams getting relegated from the Premier League, being Sligo Rovers, Shamrock Rovers, interestingly, I think the best in, uh, best Irish team on the game, and St. Pat's. But St. Pat's only won one game all season and accumulated only eight points, which is just absolutely tragic. Here's the championship then, and once again, only Irish teams being relegated there as well. Derry City, Bray Wanderers, and Finn Harps, who got relegated from the Premier League last season. But down in League One, miracles have happened. Galway United have managed to beat one of the English teams, Coventry City have gone down, I think they've all, they've all gone down, they've all been relegated because four teams get relegated in League One, which is a bit of a shame, but at least Galway 
where United have managed to beat Coventry City. So the, the aspiration for an Irish team to stay up continues, I suppose. Galway United beating Coventry but still going down to League Two along with Longford Town and Wexford Youths. So the experiment is almost over. One more season to simulate through now to get to the end of season four to see whether any of the Irish teams will go from being in the Premier League at the start of this experiment to in the space of four years being at the bottom of the entire English league system. The end of the experiment has arrived. It is the end of season four and about to get into season five and it's now time to see whether any Irish teams have managed to go from being in the Premier League to the bottom of the English league system in the space of four seasons. Pretty predictably, all three remaining Irish teams in the Premier League have gone down. Liverpool actually won the league from Stoke City and Manchester United and then Chelsea, where we can see down at the bottom that Bohemian FC, Dundalk and Cork City went down into the Championship. And speaking of the Championship, if I can actually find it, we can see that once again, all three Irish teams in that league got relegated as well. So Shamrock Rovers, St. Pat's and Sligo Rovers Rovers, who at the end of season number three, I want to say, got relegated from the Premier League. They've now been relegated from the Championship the year afterwards. Down in League One, we saw a miracle here last season. Are we going to see another one? Yes, we are. In fact, we're going to see two miracles. Once again, all of the Irish teams have been relegated because there's four teams that get relegated in League One, but both Bray Wanderers and Derry City managed to beat Burton Albion, who finished 23, uh, 23, 23, 23rd in League One, and then Finn Harps came bottom. So all four of those teams get relegated. So, but now moving on into League Two. Now, in the top half, there are no Irish sides whatsoever, but if we go all the way down to P number 18 out of this 24-team league, you can see that Galway United are actually on the first page. They managed to beat quite a few teams and finished 18th. We keep going and see that Wexford Youths are 20th out of the 24 teams in this league, so it's looking pretty good for the Irish sides, and Longford Town came 23rd. So we can just about say, or just about, literally by one point, that none of the Irish teams went from being in the Premier League to being bottom of the entire English league system in the space of four years, although they did come incredibly close. Galway United and Wexford Youth, shout out to them, shout out to the teams as well um, that did bits in League One and beat a couple of teams there, that was, that was pretty decent. But in terms of League Two, it is Grimsby Town who prop up the entire 92 teams in the English Football League system just behind Longford Town who end up the the lowest rated side out of any of the Irish teams in this experiment. To be honest with you this is one that surprised me a little bit because I was genuinely expecting one of the Irish teams to end up at the bottom by the end and I wasn't expecting many of them to beat any of the English sides so seeing a few of them beating some English sides in League One was quite a surprise and that's no detriment to the Irish League it's just the way that the ratings work on this game I expected them to just plummet instantly and not really beat any English teams until maybe they got into League Two and that has been proven wrong to some degree, although I was close with my prediction, but it's, it's been proven wrong. Nevertheless, that is basically the end of this FIFA 17 career mode experiment. We can see that three teams ended up down in League 2, as you would expect. That was mathematically the maximum amount of teams that could end up in League 2, I think, um, after four seasons. But if you have enjoyed this video, then make sure to smash a like on it, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and comment about enjoying the video if you enjoyed it that much. Make sure to let me know what experiments you want to see next. I'd love to hear your feedback on experiments you would like me to conduct on FIFA 17 career mode. But uh, for now, it's been a pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a great day, enjoy yourselves, and goodbye. Yo, with the bang, with the boo. Man can't fuck with a lot of them crew. Put one, two, nine holes in the queue. Wanna ride on me, you better change that route. I'm a lyrical animal straight out of the zoo. Big mic man, big like big zoo. 15 going OT on my own, done it all alone. I never been a ring true. KYE, the hardest YG, my G. Better know he kicks like on food. Try me, you must have won some food.